Hello everybody and welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. So as you can no doubt see from the background there is a clip playing rather fast. That is because I recorded it and for some unknown reason it decided not to capture my microphone at all. So this is going to be a really short video, I'm sorry about that, so it's just going to be the time lapsed bit of me getting a puppy in the floppy crate and then heading out on a raid which did capture my microphone so it's only about the first, I don't know, 40 to 50 seconds of the video that has no microphone. But yeah, hope you all enjoy. All right, welcome back everybody. So as you saw in that last clip, we went and got ourselves a floppy disk, which, in, ah, sorry, got completely tongue tied there. We went and got ourselves a floppy disk, which gave us another infected box. And as you saw, I dropped it off in there. I've now readied up and I'm heading out on a raid. So not as many hatchets as I was like as I would like, but I'm kind of out of resources. Got the C4 though, and I got spare um what was it silence gun. So let's head over there. This base belongs to Gelatus. Gelatus. Jelly. Let's go and raid jelly. It's like Roman jelly, gelatus. So what do you think we're getting? I'm hoping for a massive base with just stone all the way around and no honeycomb. So is the game going to be that nice to us? Right, let's turn our sound on. Right, okay. No chopper. Alright, well it's an open plan base and it's quite small. Right, um, let's just do this. Guessing I don't know what they'll have in these. Oh, that's one hatchet down already. So, plan is to just break open every single chest. Hopefully we've got enough hatchets for it. If not, I could probably craft maybe one or two more stone hatchets. Right. What's in there, chopper? Oh, they might have some engine parts lying around. Or will they? What have they invested into the ATV? Ah, they've invested spare engine parts in the ATV. That sucks. Ah, and they got themselves a stone wall there. Right. That's not completed yet. Right, let's just go straight for the coloured chest. Two steel bars, an engine part, fully modded AK. Okay. Red tickets, that is what you like to see in a box. And I'll take your hatchet too. And what were you going to give us in here? Uh, it's not too bad. You know what, I'll take these when the zombies turn up. It's strange that they're not here already. Here they come. Hey, two oak planks. It's always nice to get. So I'm guessing this person has been just upgrading their base by the Oak, Oak Grove update. Oak Grove event, whatever you want to call it. So what are we getting here? You know what, I'll take that as well, because gold might have a use in the future. So there's no harm in having a stockpile of it. Don't especially want any of that stuff. Uh, five more bandages. <gasps> duct tape. Yes, we need duct tape. We need lots of it. Completely out of duct tape at the moment. Come on, just die for me. I've been completely deafened by the game at the moment. And another red ticket. Okay, so it seems like this person's got their loot spread out a bit randomly. Uh, apparently I never broke into that one. Uh, ten more of them. I'll take it. And we can make more hatchets if we need to. Because he just gave us some lovely loot. Hey, that's a science gun he stole from me. Found it. And what are we getting in here? Another engine part. Oh, hang on. Let's kill these guys. Die, you bastards. I mean, die, you zombies. Ooh. Health got a little bit lower. Okay, so this person has absolutely no organisational skills for their loot whatsoever. Smash. And one more. There we go. Two more duct tape. You know what? Tempted to start taking metal as well. 
Was it in here? Yes, it was. That chest had nothing special. Right. Can open. Right, the next chest we open will summon the big one. And we've got two chests left to do. So, let's get these items stashed. What's that looking like? Uh, oh, if only they'd finish that off. I've only got a nice free generator. Right. Tr uh, chopper should be down here somewhere. Here we are. Right. Ah, good. Didn't have to use any C4, of course. We'll take that and we'll stash that. There we go. We're halfway towards another, 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 another trunk. I think we now have three steel bars. Right. Let's just check we haven't missed anything really good. Don't especially need any of this. Um, yeah, I'll leave that there. Grab that for now. Might switch out for something. Uh, the nails. Now we've got a ton of nails. What have we got in here? No special patterns. This one. Nothing that amazing. Too amazing in there. Just making sure I didn't miss anything at all because I always hate it. Oh, no, don't smash the sofa. Yeah, it's nothing that good, especially. Right then, these two chests. Let's see if we can get some steel plates, maybe. Okay, big one's on his way over. Uh, take the gun parts. Take the gun parts. And 20 volts. Why not? Oof, that was close. 24 health there. Right, let's head on back over to the base. Uh, still can't run there. I hate being low on energy. Right, hang on, where is my chopper? I know it's here, there you are. Right, thank you for watching everybody. That was just a nice quick raid video and then opening the acid bar. You know what, I can't do this to you all. Let's go and get this acid bath opened up. See what we get in the infected box. Let's open this thing up and see what we're getting. Grenade launcher, yay. Awesome, so what's that? Yeah, that's five copper right there, another grenade launcher, another scar, a few more engine parts, just what we like to see. Hope you enjoyed the video everybody, and I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye.